Hey ladies, welcome back. So if you're still looking for a great SPF for your face and you need to decide between one of these two, then stick around and I'm glad you're here because today we're just going to look at some key differences that will hopefully help you to make a decision. So with regards to price and more details that I'll mention in the video today, you can go and check it out. I'll link everything in the description box below. So with the oil-free gel, it's got a slight nude color and the water gel has got a white color. Now the color doesn't really bother me because with both of them, it disappears. Um, for the men, it might just feel weird. It might feel like a foundation or a tinted SPF that they're applying, but it really disappears. And with the water gel, uh, some people might think that you'll end up with a white face, but that's really not the case. You just need to get it, give it time to settle in and it will disappear completely. The scent on both of these are really gentle, but if I have to choose one that has got a slightly stronger or more prominent scent, then it would be the oil-free gel. But still, both of them uh, doesn't have a sharp sunscreen smell. Now, what I love is both of these products are really hydrating, but if you've got an oily skin, then I would go for the oil-free gel just because it has what they call a dry touch. So it has more of a matte finish. Uh, the water gel is not oily, but it does have more what they call an ultra hydrating effect. So I would definitely consider that. What about moisturizer? Should you wear a moisturizer with these? And the answer is yes, you should wear a moisturizer. However, if I go to the beach or I'll be training outdoors where I'll be in full sun, then personally, I usually skip the moisturizer. If you've got a very oily skin, then you might also get away with not using a moisturizer. Also, I didn't pick up in particular that any of these two burnt my eyes. So I would say they're quite eye safe. Uh, but then again, if you've got sensitive eyes, then you might want to try out a tester first. So guys, I've mentioned before that with HelioCare, you really can't go wrong by choosing any of the products. It's really about which one suits your skin type the best, because you'll know that you'll get the ultimate protection against damage caused by daylight, as well as blue light caused by digital devices. Why? Because HelioCare combines filters that protects your skin from the on the surface level as well as from the inside and that is because of their unique ingredient called fern block. You can read up about it more on the website but fern block is just an antioxidant that protects your skin cell DNA. Uh, it also protects your collagen and it just protects your skin from the damage caused by free radicals. If you've got any more questions about one of these products then leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer that. Cheers for now.